Hey everyone, welcome back to an unboxing video. Now, I originally recorded this one just after the PlayAsia one, but it turns out the company that sent me the items packaged everything so well that it took me a very long time to undo all the bubble wrap, and I realized that would have been a nightmare to edit because every 30 or 40 seconds I would have cut out chunks of me unwrapping everything. So, some time's passed. You can still see some boxes from where I've started to unpack everything I originally boxed up. And I undid all the bubble wrap on all this, so I'm going to go through these items. They come from SNK's uh, store in Japan. Now, I bought these through Zen Market, which is an intermediary service. They will handle uh, Japanese auctions and retail sites, stuff like that. I don't know if I'll be using them again. Probably not. One of these items, and this one just came in, was supposed to be five instead it's actually just one and because of that they held it out of my package and you have to manually check what you want them to ship well i don't read japanese and you know there's a bunch of little items here and the only thing you have to go by is their item id in their system which is like qrf or qt3 so you know i don't know they say all my items got in so i checked them all the package send me the package and then i get the email saying oh we messed up it's one item, not five. Sorry. And I checked the main screen and they took it out of the package. So I said, hey, um, please put that back in. And no response. They have an emergency contact. I did that. You know, hours go by, I think a day. And then they said, oh, sorry, it shipped. It's your fault. You manually put everything in. You should have checked. Yeah, I'm not going to memorize your inventory codes. And so that was really annoying because this cost a whole separate shipping fee. This little bitty thing right here. So that's why I'm probably not going to be using them again, but I got what I wanted. And so I will go through a bunch of the small things first, and then we'll lead up to the biggie, which you've probably seen by this point. Uh, the small things, these are just some pins I thought were pretty cool. Designed after the memory card, and this, in case it's hard to see, is the AES. Let's see here. These are just uh, simple cards, art cards. And they have tons of these. So this is the set here, what it looks like. Uh, okay, you can see this one's at the top right. But these are the other ones you can choose from. And you can pick all the stuff from the site. Individual cards, packs of cards, um, things of that nature. These are some nice little uh, kind of chibi stickers. They had several different sets of these. These aren't actually going to go on anything, but... I have some SNK keychains from way back in the 16-bit days whenever I joined their fan club by sending off a registration card. And they actually sent me pins like these for Art of Fighting, King of Monsters, and something else. I think Samurai Showdown. So I have a little, a neat little pile of SNK items I'm going to put with these. Um, this is just a fun little sticker here. Or maybe it's a magnet. Let's see if I can get it out. Burning Knuckle. 16-bit <laughs> uh, days. Uh, some bigger items here. Now, these are just folders. Really thin folders that people have come to collect. It's just pieces of art. And I bought one for 97 one of my favorite entries. Uh, you see the little tab here for you to pull the paper out. Uh, apparently, a bunch of series have these over, overseas. And... Uh, they're not that special if you're over there, but if you're over here, it's really cool because, you know, I'm never going to run across something like this. Um, you know I'm a mug guy, so I picked up two, one of which is this little metal slug one. You can see the art there. That one's really cool, and I like the uh, the shape of this one. Little, It's kind of rounded at the bottom there, and a little squat mug. And I also grabbed... A King of Fighters 94 Rebout. And there are several of these. I picked the ladies one. I thought that one looked the best. My King and Company. Uh, picked up a pin. This one is of my. Mainly because she's one of the primary characters I use uh, throughout the series. Because I'm just familiar with her move list. So I know she's like a, a Ken or a Sub-Zero. I can pick up any entry. The glare is getting on that one. I can pick up any entry and I know exactly um, how I'm going to start my basic combos and how I'm going to start things off. Although in 14, I really liked a few of the newer characters uh, uh, quite a bit. Let's see. Uh, two of the yeah, 
these things are kind of odd. Oh, I have one more of the folders here. Metal Slug, the artwork for the first one. And these two have folders but as well as discs. And this is the Arcade Sound Digital Collection 3. With uh, This is just a, like their logo for their online shop. I didn't know it was going to come with the folders. And same thing here, the logo for their online shop. And this is uh, Arcade Sound Digital Collection 2. One of these I want to say is Art of Fighting Music. And one is from one of the Fatal Theories. Uh, let me see if I can tell. Uh, I know one is Art of Fighting because I specifically ordered it. But these were only, I want to say like five or six bucks. They were surprisingly cheap. And so I decided to grab another one because they also come up randomly. Um... So you couldn't just pick which one you wanted. You had to get whatever was available. Uh, okay, so this is King of Fighters 94 and 95. You see on the back here. It's a two-disc set, so that's really neat. And that's it's a simple cover. Uh, and while we're at it, let's just check out what the other one is. Please excuse the noise. And this is why I'm refilming this, because the first video was just this nonsense for the entire thing. This is, oh, the entire Art of Fighting trilogy. So you see the three, ah, oh, that reflection is bad. You see the three logos uh, there? So this is a two-disc set. <laughs> disc one has 58 sound clips. Disc two has 41. So that's really cool. But like I said, they didn't have a release schedule for these or anything. It's just when you went to buy something, uh, they just put them out randomly. And... They held on to this package for a very long time for me, so when I went to check back, I saw they had a new collection up, so I added that to my cart, and that's because I had pre-ordered this ages ago. Samurai Showdown Dash Spirits with the neat AES case for the PS4. Uh, you get, oddly enough, the referee's not in the game, but uh, you get a little... <laughs> it's a sticker. They put this giant foam thing in to keep straight. You get a really nice, nice, nice art book. I love the art in this game. So far, I am enjoying this game immensely. The cover is slightly different to the North American one and that this one is um, zoomed out a little bit. The only downside is I did not get the free Season 1 DLC pass that you got in North America because this took a week or so to get to me and that promo promotion was only for the first week. Although I read on the website, you could have just added it to your cart before the game came out. Really wish I had read that because I'm absolutely loving the game. It's very high stakes like the earlier entries in that a two-hit combo can take off half your health bar. And what's funny is an 8 to 10 hit combo can take off a quarter. Or if you just get two solid basic hits, half of it goes away. I absolutely love the new character designs. Um, I forgot her name. She's like this pirate. She's got purple uh, braid, purple braided hair and this massive machete sword. Daria or something? I I've been using her a lot because it's just so satisfying to hack someone up. But uh, this is a really cool case. This is the second in recent months that a game has come out using the old AES cases for new releases. Um, the other one being limited runs. And I already bought this uh, protective case for it so it doesn't get messed up to join my shock boxes. But that was my venture into the SNK online store. A shame they don't ship here, but it's a lot of fun to get this stuff. Um, I'm really enjoying these little things because growing up, you know, I remember seeing this art on the internet. And when I go to forums or, you know, palace chat or whatever, I'd always put these as my avatars or have them up. And I never thought I would actually have items with the art on it. I'm not one to display a lot of stuff, uh, but I do like to check out the things I get, like little tchotchke and, you know, just little knickknacks I, I pick up. I do enjoy going through those and kind of reminiscing and just, I don't know. I'm saying and just a lot because it might not make much sense to put this away once you get it. But I'm the type of person that does routinely go back to the drawers and to the, the shelves and stuff and just kind of check out the art and appreciate the memories and the style and what all it means. But I will be definitely checking out these discs. Uh, it's going to be fun to go through 90-something sound bits from the Art of Fighting series. But, oh, lastly, the one that caused all the problems. I don't know what this one is. It's one of five. So let's check this out. And it is, da, 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 da. ah, Samurai Showdown. I think there was 
four uh, from different series. I think Metal Slug was one. This was a few of them. And Fatal Fury was another set. So I do like this. I will not put this on my keychain, as you might imagine. Let's see if I can get a good shot of that. That's pretty good. But it definitely looks cool. Worth the wait on this. But thanks for watching. I'll be back with a regular pickup video in a bit.